Well, good morning, warriors. It's that time again, praying for America. Ezekiel 37 verse 7 says, So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a thundering noise and behold, a shaking and trembling and rattling and the bones came together, bone to its bone. Let us pray. Mm. Woo, thank you, Holy Ghost. My help is here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointed one and his anointing, the name that is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I come, Father God, praying for America today. As the word of God said, Ezekiel said he prophesied as he was commanded. Mm. Suddenly there was a thundering noise. There was a trembling, a shaking, and a rattling, Father. So, Father God, today I come in the authority of my shaky and satap. Just like a police officer is giving the authority to stand in the middle of traffic, hold up his hand, and all automobiles must come to a complete stop because he has been given that authority. Mm -hmm. Father God, I come in my Jesus giving authority and I hold my hand up to the devil on today. I hold my hand up to the kingdom of darkness on today. I hold my hand up to every diabolical plan today. And I say, get in the name of Jesus today. Father God, I prophesy to every dry bone in America. <laughs> And I prophesy that those dry bones across our country will come alive. Dry bones in the church come alive. Dry bones in the government come alive. Dry bones in the pharmaceutical companies come alive. Mako Shato. Dry bones in the media come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Dry bones in the Supreme Court come alive. Dry bones in the White House come alive. Dry bones in the Senate come alive. Dry bones in the House of Representatives come alive in the name of Jesus today. Mm -hmm. Father God, I prophesy the dry bones in the military and I say come alive in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the dry bones in our counties and I say come alive in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the dry bones in our governor's offices across this country and I say come alive in the name of Jesus. Today, <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that everything that was dead in this nation is coming alive. Father God, I speak makusuto and I prophesy to every truth that has been buried, every hidden agenda, everything done in the darkness. I command them to come alive in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, that when we use our Jesus given authority, the kingdom of darkness has to stand at attention. Mm -hmm. Father God, I speak to every dry bones in the families. I command, oh God, those dry bones to come alive. I prophesy to every dry bones in our relationships. I command them to come alive in the name of Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I speak, God, to every dry bone in our body, every sicknesses and diseases in our body, and I command the dry bones within our bodies, come alive in the name of Jesus today. Whoo, Holy Ghost, thank you. Now, Father God, we vow to give you the praise the glory and the honor because, oh God, we know that the thief, Satan has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. Oh, but thanks be to God that Jesus, when you said it is finished on the cross, mm, you went down into hell, you spore principalities and powers, you make, you, oh my cassette, bullshit. you made an open show of them and you took back the keys. 
and you've given us the keys. My God, in the name of Jesus. So Jesus, we take these keys and we operate from the realm of the spirit where we are seated in heavenly places. And we speak to every dead thing and every dry bone in the United States of America. And we say to you, come alive, come alive come alive in the name of Jesus Christ we pray today and the Holy Ghost the Ruach Kadosh, we say thank you Father for the work you have begun in America because in God we trust you shall see it through and we love you and we appreciate you in Jesus name Whew. I just feel the heat the fire of the Holy Spirit's presence in Jesus name we pray today amen warriors you know what to do have yourself a blessed day. Kick the devil, let him run with his tail between his legs. Never to come back and mess with you because you are a son and a daughter of the Most High God. You are drenched in the blood, sealed by the blood of the Lamb, protected by the warring angels of God and no devil in hell, under the earth, in the earth, in the atmosphere, who nor in the air will be able to touch you until the next time. Have a blessed day, warriors. Bye-bye.